the helicopter is tucked in under the belly of the rover. It's actually horizontal below, below the rover. It's connected, right? It gets, it gets heat, it gets, we can communicate with it. And we have to deploy it on the surface of Mars. So in the upcoming weeks here, once we find a site that's suitable, we are going to go through a deployment process where we go from the helicopter being horizontal to going all the way vertical. And then there's a last, the last day of our deployment is when we separate the helicopter from the rover. And what's special about that day is that from the moment that we separate from the helicopter from the rover, we have to drive off of it and expose the solar panels from the helicopter within 24 hours of that drop. Because if we don't drive off on time, if we have any problem, then there's a chance that the helicopter might not survive uh, the Martian night, which is so cold, because it needs that energy from the solar panels. So my job has to be, been to coordinate all of those activities, coordinate the rover side activities um, to get that deployment done, to drive off, to do all of the imaging during the flights, um, and to coordinate, for example, and communicating with the helicopter. Um, the helicopter can't talk directly back to Earth. It has to send its signals through the rover and then to Earth. Um, so there's a, basically I call it sort of a dance. There's a very careful dance that has to happen between the two projects. And I'm, I'm sort of the choreographer for those dances uh, to make sure that everything happens, everyone is right there when they need to be uh, in order to, to have a successful mission. That seems really complicated. And both you and Tim have talked about how this isn't like using a joystick to command these spacecraft. So how do you prepare for something like that? And let's pull up video seven while you talk us through this. So we test, 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 and test some more. I can't tell you how much time I've spent in the Mars yard at JPL in the past few months. So, so the Mars yard is basically a big sandbox. It looks like Mars. You're seeing it in the video there. And we have a replica of both Ingenuity and Perseverance. Perseverance, the, the replica for Perseverance is called Optimism. And we use those Earth, you know, those Earth robots to test before we get to Mars. And we test everything, all of the activities, all of the sequences, the timing to make sure that once we do it on Mars, it's not the first time, it, you know, it should be boring by the time we do it on Mars because we've done it so many times. So the video that you're seeing here, for example, is what we hope the deployment day will look like on Mars. So we tested our deployment uh, and we tested driving off of it. And the other thing that we do is that we also test our people. Um, so back in, in late January, we had a dress rehearsal for the day that we're going to drop the helicopter. So we had all of our team, you know, in the control room and I was sending them data and, and you know, spoofing anomalies and things like that. And people had to react to them and, and do that go, no goes and decide, okay, are we gonna drive off? Is the helicopter separated? What's the health of the helicopter? So, um, so that's really helped us build confidence in our ability to do this. And, you know, I think we're as ready as we can be and we're really excited to get to do it uh, for real on Mars. It's a little bit like, you know, when you've rehearsed for a show for a long time and then you're ready for prime time, I think that's where we're at right now.